Good evening everyone. Today is Saturday, February 15th, 2014 and welcome to Radio Silent Play. I am your moderator and today we will be discussing how to actually use and implement the Radio Silent Play methodology. Okay, first off, I want to say that I am not a financial advisor. Please understand that to take all this information as information only. Okay, trading stocks and options inquire lots of risk. And remember to ask a financial advisor or a financial specialist before investing in any securities. Okay, so this is the website. Radio Silent Play Premium members must log in. Okay, so I'm already logged in. So every Sunday night or Saturday, we're going to post a weekly watch list. And today we're going to focus primarily on OTC weekly watch list. And I just want to show traders how to actually use this site. We're going to go over to the January 2014 dates. And I usually list three to four stocks on the list. I'll have the buy zones, the 52 week low support, the pivot price, the 52 week high and the stop close. Usually I have a annotated chart, not even usually because I always have it on there. And I'll have the setup. I can have either the weekly or the daily chart. Now depending on what stock I'm gonna, going to mention, I'm going to show you okay, why I'm actually picking the stock. Now this stock has been consolidating at this range for quite some time and has never broken that 11 support. So if I want to actually place an order on this stock, I'll come over here, I'll type in the stock. And remember, we're not even on regular trading hours. I'm gonna place a bid. I'm gonna place a bid for 100,000 shares at a limit price 0.0012 and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to garner some type of position in this stock 52 week low is at 11 I know that it's gonna be pretty tough to get in so I'm gonna buy a hundred bucks worth of the stock I'll place an order I'm already in all right I'll come down I'll look at this stock wafer okay same setup the buy zones are 9 to 12 52 week low support is at 8 so what I'm going to do is, I like the chart, I like the setup, I'm going to come here, I'm going to put the wafer trade, okay, and I'm going to buy shares at, at 9, I'm going to buy 100,000 shares, limit price 0 .009, 0 0.009, good for 60 days, so I don't even have to be in front of that computer. All right, so I'm set. Okay, now I'm gonna look at SAFs. Okay, great, it's at 18, out 12 to 15 is the buy zone. I'm looking at the chart, I'm okay with it. The buy zones are there. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna post on SAFs. Okay, I wanna buy at 12, so I'm gonna buy 100,000 shares at 0.0012 for 60 days so I'm bidding on all these stocks and whatever I get filled I'm okay with it I'm, I'm just doing a mock so remember I just want to show traders why we are actually implementing this VMGI 0007 you got the buy zones from 4 to 6 if you look at this, this stock it's returned to the scene of the crime this was the area that you were buying okay and it just broke that support at six so I don't mind buying at six I'm gonna come over here post on VMGI okay I want to buy at six okay again this is just a mock but I'm just showing you how I'm placing all my orders at six good for 60 days I'm good to go. Okay, great. My order's placed. So I'm set. 
So we're pretending that this is January 27th. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward. So I will be back and I will show you what these stocks actually did. Okay, we are back. We're actually fast forwarding now. We actually bought these stocks. First stock was Inva. We purchased this stock on January 27th. We were bidding 12. Okay, and over here, if you can see January 27th, we actually could have filled at 11. All right, right there in February. We had that 60 day buy order. That stock hit a high of 17 right here. So that's 60%. So if you would have traded this stock and you would have bought it at 11 or 12, depending on your bid, it never broke that 11, okay? And it closed above that 17. So you could have sold that, that stock anywhere from 16 to 17 for a slight gain. Now the stock is right back at its levels and you can actually buy this stock at 0 0.0011 or 0 0.0012 for a retrace and a, and a move up higher okay what was the other stock that we actually purchased it was wafer okay again we bought that stock i believe our entry was at 9 to 27 and look it hit a, a low of 9 on february you would have filled that stock hit a high of 22 that's 100 percent okay so what was the other trade that we did was SAFs, let's look at it. We put a, a bid on SAFs. The buy zones were 12 to 15 on the 27th. There would have been no fill for us at 12. It, it actually hit 13 on the 27th. So if you would have bought this from 13 to 16, you would have filled. And that stock hit a high of 25, which is about 80 to 100% depending on your entry level. So that's, that's another stock. We actually did VMGI at six. Let's take a look at VMGI on the 27th at six. And that would have been a nice gain right here. So looking at the 27th, you could have bought in that stock four to five, five, six, whatever. And that stock hit a high of 23. So um, that's over 200%. Okay, so the probability trades all panned out. You would have bought an Invo, you would have made 60%. You would have filled. You would have bought in Wafer at, at 8, 9, you would have filled. And that hit a high of uh, 22. The SAFs trade, if you would have gotten in at 12, it probably wouldn't have filled. Some traders would have entered at 15, and that hit a high of uh, 28. The VMGI trade, you would have entered anywhere from 5 to 6, 7s even and that stock hit a high of 23 so that's that's 200 percent all right so the bottom line is that's how you utilize this this trade now i see a lot of traders posting on stocks on the chat room they're focused on other trades i don't mind because trading radio silent play strategy you can use this strategy for any stock that you trade now i'm going to actually post on these stocks so you're gonna have more eyes on these stocks. But again, I'm not forcing anybody to trade these stocks. What I am giving you is an opportunity to actually bid for the stock, okay? Trading stocks are like sneakers. If you're gonna go out and try to get those LeBron James Nikes and they're $140, you wanna pay $120, right? Then I, I don't get them, okay? The price didn't drop down to $100. I'm not going to pay a premium of 140. I'm going to go look at another pair of Nikes. You know, the bottom line is you want to position yourself for the right side of the trade. And many traders, what they do, they start chasing. This is not what this this uh, website's about. You know, I'm not going to chase a stock. I want that stock to break that that resistance level. And if it breaks that resistance level, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter at that new support, which was that pivot price. And, and this, all this information is in the, in the emails, it's in the website, and it's pretty simple. There should be no reason why traders get frustrated with purchasing these stocks, okay? If the stock breaks your support level, okay, 
If Inva breaks below 11, okay, closes at 10, then you stop. You're at a 10% loss. I mean, that, that's pretty much, it's cut and dry. I mean, you, I always tell my traders, stops in and emotions out. There should be no frustrations in these trades. Now, if you're trading with $4,000, $5,000, don't try to get every stock on the trade, okay? On the, on the weekly watch list. Try to get filled maybe three stocks, maybe two stocks. You wanna grow your account, okay? Forget what other traders are doing. Forget the iHub hype. Forget all that, that, um, that hype that everybody wants to pump. This is going to 20 cents, 30 cents. You guys are traders, not investors, all right? If you wanna invest, okay, I have a long hedge investment here that's gonna you know, take you to a page where you can actually invest in NASDAQ stocks, energy stocks, emerging markets, mining stocks, okay? But I'll be honest with you, trading penny stocks, okay, they're high risk. And if you're using the RSP strategy, you're positioning yourself for a profitable trade. And like always, thank you very much. Traders that wanna try out our, our site for free, we're given a month free, and we're actually giving um, new members free t-shirts, all right? Remember, patience plus discipline equals profit, and that's what we're all about.